You know, when I was a kid, I thought maybe I would grow up to be a fireman or a professional baseball player. That was kind of a big goal of mine. But here I am making videos about toilets on YouTube, and I'm actually really excited about it because this guy right here is my new favorite portable toilet. And let me tell you why. So let's first talk about the three types of toilets that you could have in a van and why I think this is the best style. The first type of toilet that's pretty common in van life is a cassette toilet. And this essentially has two different sections. There's water in the top and then a reservoir in the bottom. And so as you use the toilet, you're using water from the top and collecting all of the waste and the water in the bottom. The second type is a composting toilet where essentially all of the waste stays in the van and a compost is formed and you clean it out at some point in the future. The third type, what we have here is a dry flush toilet. So these use no water and essentially after each use it is bagged up and you throw it away. So there are two very specific reasons why a dry flush for me is the only way to go with a toilet set up in a van these days. The number one is that it doesn't require any water, so you don't have to bring along extra water just to use a toilet. But number two, most importantly, is that it's the most sanitary way to use a toilet in a van. So essentially, with the other two methods, either a cassette toilet or a composting toilet, after you've used them, you have waste inside the device itself, which you have to clean out. A cassette toilet is actually not a very pleasant experience at all because essentially you're having to dump it out and then rinse it out. It often takes at least 30 minutes to deal with that and it is not fun. The second type being a composting toilet and we get a lot of questions about this. People ask, you know, what type of toilet should I use? Should I think about a composting toilet? And in my opinion, the answer is absolutely no. You do not want to start a compost of waste material in your van. Um, you have to ventilate it. There's a process that it needs to go through depending on the temperatures. It may or may not work properly. But essentially, the idea is that you want to get the waste out of the van as soon as possible, not leave it in to start a compost. So that's where the dry flush comes in doesn't require any water and it doesn't hold any waste. So essentially, as soon as you're done using this unit, you take the waste and you dispose of it in the nearest trash can. It's totally legal and okay to do that. And then essentially what you have is a totally clean device that you could leave in your van for months on end and you wouldn't have any smells or anything to deal with. So that's the number one thing for me is if I do need to use this, then I don't have to think about, did I empty it? Did I clean it? Do I need to, to manage it? Is there gonna be some smell? It's just a completely sanitary and water-free way to do your business and then go about your business. Let's take a look at this beast. And the first impression of this is it's like a space age toilet. It's really well made. It's super compact and portable. It has some unique technology in it to bag up the waste essentially. And it's really something that's gonna last a long time. And I just really like the overall feel and functionality of this. This is carry mode. So essentially you can carry this around. These are actually stackable. So if you had multiple of these Trekker toilets. You could stack them up, up to five high. But overall, super well made and just a really cool device. So first thing we're gonna do here is take off the bottom. And essentially this needs to come off in order for it to operate. And we're gonna pull out, first of all, this little controller here, which is what you use to flush it and then put up the legs. So you don't have to use the legs, but if you're setting this directly on the floor, it's a lot more comfortable to use the legs. So let's go ahead and install those. All right. We got those nice and tight, so then we can flip it over. And 
then you will take off the top lid. And there you have it, toilet ready to use. Now, um, there are plastic bag cartridges that go in here, and in order to install those, you pull off the seat, and then also this little retainer, and then there's plastic bag in here that you set it in and kind of feed it in the first time. And um, it's really simple to do. After you do it the first time, you'll always know how to do it. So the bags here are obviously kind of proprietary to this. You need to buy the ones from Wrap-On. Um, and just in terms of cost, it does come down to about $1.50 per flush, which I feel the bags are a little bit overpriced, but I think that's how they get you. It's like buying ink for your printer. Um, it's proprietary and it is what it is. But in reality, this isn't something that you're probably gonna use every day in the van. And certainly to have it in an emergency and spend $1.50 to use it is completely worth it. When I'm traveling in my van, I would say like once every two to three days, I would like to have something like this with me. Otherwise, I'm just using public bathrooms or um, a friend's house or whatever we're doing, but you don't need to necessarily use it every day is the point. All right, so we'll put this back together. So that's how you would store it. And when you're ready to use it, you take this off. So something to mention is that this toilet does use electricity in order to function. So what's gonna happen is that once you use it, the bag will get pulled through and then it uses like a little heat sealing device to melt the plastic into a seal. It takes 90 seconds overall. Um, so you do have to have electricity for this. Now there's a couple ways to get the electricity. First of all, it comes with an AC power cord. So if where you're using it, including in your van, you have AC power, you can just plug it into that. Of course, you need to turn your inverter on, uh, but you only have to have it plugged in for a couple minutes and then it will work. So the second way to power the unit is with this little portable power bank that Wrap-On sells. Essentially, you charge this up and instead of plugging in the AC cord, you just plug it into this little device. It has indicators on there so you can tell how full it is. Uh, but this will give you multiple flushes um, off of this little battery bank. Um, un the unfortunate thing about this is that this little device is quite expensive. It's over $400 for the battery, uh, which to me seems like a lot, but again, it is what it is. If you need it to be portable, like you're gonna use this out in the woods somewhere or in a tent, or even if your van just doesn't have AC power inverter, then you wouldn't be able to use the AC power cord, so you would have to get something like this. And the third way is that you can buy essentially a cigarette lighter adapter cable for this to run it directly off of your 12 volt starter battery or another device that you can plug in a cigarette lighter to. So three different ways to power it, um, and it comes with the AC charger. So on the side here, you have actually a little storage compartment. So you could keep your battery in there and your charging cables. So that's kind of nice. And this is what the refills look like when you get them brand new. So I already had one loaded in here, but essentially you just open this up, put it around the outside and feed in the first little section of it. And then the unit takes over after that. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is put some pea powder into this, which is essentially just a coagulant. So any liquids in there are gonna turn into a gel. So start by doing that. And then just go ahead and put your things into it. Little smiley face. Okay, there we go. And then you'll see the power light on here. And then we're just gonna push the button. One thing I really like about it is it kind of sounds cool, like a cash machine, right? So um, you're not gonna get cash out of this, but I really like the, the space age sound to it. Um, but anyway, once you push the flush button, it's gonna have a countdown timer. It's 90 seconds. Um, that's how long it takes for the heating element to heat up the bag and essentially seal up the waste. 
So we'll go ahead and wait for this to finish. You guys may have watched our video on the Laveo dry flush toilet, which is very similar to this. But one of the key differences is that with the Laveo, you essentially have to use the entire cartridge of bags before you throw it out. The wrap-on is different in, in that each use is packaged independently. And that's really important to me because I'm only gonna use this every so often and I don't wanna leave waste in here for days, weeks, or months on end waiting to use the entire bag. I like this much better because, oh, it's counting down now. But I like this much better because each time you use it, you dispose of that waste and then the unit itself can go back into the van, maybe give it a quick wipe down and you could leave this because there's no waste in it whatsoever. So you don't have to wake up in the middle of the night wondering whether or not you emptied your toilet. Is it going to smell when you go back to get in the van? So this is perfect, super sanitary. And given the way that it operates, again, by far my favorite toilet for a van. So overall guys, I've been very impressed with the Wrap-On Trekker. This is the unit that I carry with me. And I would say there is really only one downside to it, which is it's probably the most expensive toilet on the market at $15.99. And then if you add the battery pack to it, it's gonna come in at about $2,000. So it is quite expensive, but given the quality and then the uniqueness of it and that once you dispose of the bag, it is completely sanitary. That's probably the biggest thing for me is that I just don't wanna to have to think about cleaning out a toilet after my trip. So there you have it guys, this is the Wrap-On Trekker toilet and this is by far my favorite toilet for van life. It's super durable, it's gonna last a long, long time doesn't use any water, of course that's important to me. And then finally, the way that it packages and wraps up the waste material is by far the best method to get rid of waste of all the toilets available for your van. If you guys want one of these, we do have a link in the description with a discount code so you can save a little bit of money on this unit. And if you've used this or you have questions about it, please leave them in the comments so we can all share our experiences. All right, thanks guys for watching. We'll see you again next time.